Good evening. This is Dr. I.B. Bitter coming from you from the To Be Seen Studios. It's our third week. Tonight I think we're going to discuss... Uh, that's what this world is lacking, imagination. Everything is uh, done through a controller such as this. Where we sit there and we play games and we hit buttons and we don't promote imagination other than what comes through a TV. You know, or a little disc. Kids don't think. When I was growing up, we played wiffle ball, we played stick ball, we played butts up. Now we have child games. Uh, no exercise, no imagination. Kids don't even need friends anymore. They can do everything through their TV, otherwise known as the idiot box. Um, we're, we're, we're no longer promoting imagination. Uh, exercise. So, you know, without imagination, without exercise, sorry, I'm moving around. Uh, without any of that, you know, we, we run into problems. We run into kids that don't like to think, kids that aren't creative. Without creative kids, where's our next generation? Are we it? Are we it, the last generation that thinks? I was with a kid recently. She had to look up a word. And she was paralyzed. She didn't have a computer around. And it was just amazing. Amazing. Uh, someone told her to use a dictionary and she looked paralyzed. She didn't even know what a dictionary was. So I guess my, more of my segment is, is not childhood games. It's going to be uh, more about childhood laziness. Laziness within and, uh, childhood obesity. You know, I was recently in a store today with about... Oh God, who knows the number? Too many kids. Too many kids. And I did, took a general census of all the children. Uh, no, mind you, this was three floors of children's stuff. Dolls. Each floor had a cafe. In each floor in the cafe, uh, it had more fattening foods and more fattening foods. So, uh... What I'm trying to get to is laziness and uh, obesity. So what we have here is, you know, we take the escalator up the, up, the up to the next floor and boom, there's a cafe. That cafe is sugary drink after sugary drink after sugary drink. So we didn't exercise to get to that floor. And then we have our sugar. So we have laziness and obesity. And essentially, so essentially, we go escalator to escalator, we have no drive and no desire to lose weight because we get off the escalator and boom, there are sweets hitting us right in the face. In New York City, they now have to have the calorie count next to the food we're eating. That's like a slap in the face. We see that nice, beautiful buttermilk cupcake cost three dollars and next to it it has 900 calories so the parents are confused does it cost nine dollars or three dollars no parents that's 900 calories you're letting your kids eat after taking the off taking the escalator up there's no drive for them to lose weight they have the escalator that takes them up they don't even need to walk there needs to be more games like hula hoops you know where you shake your hips and you gyrate your hips? You know, beautiful game, hula hoop. May help them with some extracurricular activities when they get older. Oh! You know, but what about tag? Tag, you're it. You know, that's a beautiful game. You run around and you tag people. It's a little monotonous and a little redundant, but they're exercising. Exercising, that's what we need in America, exercising. We have an obese world, and now we're number one obese census is children. I'm children, children. How are we letting our kids be fat? It's, it's, it's just not healthy, not healthy. We need more games like tag. I'm going to keep saying it. Tag, you're it. The only lazy activity I promote is watching YouTube, watching to be seen YouTube videos and then after that I want you to run in place as you watch these videos I need you to exercise 
exercise, exercise, exercise. You know, the kids go to school, they have the little tater tots, the little slappy joes, and their little magic cards that play magic and other games that, you know, don't involve any exercise. What happened to sports? Sports are now a thing played through your Xbox and your other games. Other games. I know I'm probably not supposed to target any one company, so any game that involves a remote, even these games realize it. They've come out with games that are involve us to move around, like Connect and, and other games put out by, by companies. They're trying to promote kids to exercise, but instead we have one huge fat nation. Now it's question time. We have a question that's been tweeted in from our Twitter account. Twitter account. Dr. I.B. Bitter, this is from our infamous friend, I Heart Rat. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Yeah, I love yeah. a rat too. The NYC rat. Mm. They heart rats, whatever. Uh, the question Sweet is, side up. Dr. I am obese. What is the proper amount of exercise I can do to not be obese? I don't really like exercising. Is there an alternative? There is no alternative. You, you asked what's the proper amount of exercise, but I don't like exercising. So, since you're a New York City rat lover, and there's 8 million rats in New York City, I promote that you chase rats. That would be a perfect, perfect exercise. Get up late at night and chase rats. But back to your question. I would start with half an hour a day, calisthenics, and walking. Every time you walk a little, set a goal, I'm going to walk to that block. Then you complete that block, and then you say, I'm going to walk another block, and another block. Next thing you know, you'll have exercise, and you won't even realize it. You know, you can look in some windows and do some window shopping, but the key is to get your heart rate up. I understand you said you're obese, so watch out and check with your cardiologist to make sure you're not going to have a heart attack, you know. And once you complete your half an hour of exercise, don't sit down on the couch and eat a Big Mac. Because that's uh, counterproductive. Have a celery stick. Have a salad. America, eat smart, be wise, and don't be a retard. Over and out.